Well, good afternoon. Welcome along to Wolverhampton's Grand Theatre. We're here in the Encore Lounge and we have a Facebook Live. The cast of Cabaret are with me here. Well, four of them are because there's shed loads on stage during the show. <laughs> good afternoon to you all. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Good right, to see you. It's good to Hi. see you too. I've got my list. Anita is easy. I know. Anita Harris <laughs> playing uh, oh. Fräulein Schneider. Fräulein Schneider. Yeah, yes. I love it when you do the accent. That's right. absolutely fantastic. <laughs> then we have Francis Foreman playing Rudy. Hello. And out uh, in the back row, Mary Hodgkinson playing Rosie. And then uh, there should be at least double barreled Cara Lily Hayworth. I like a good long name. Uh, playing <laughs> Sally Bowles. How are yeah. you doing? Good, thanks. All right, now, first of all, I came to see the show on Tuesday. It is absolutely fantastic, the level of energy all of you put into this show. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we'll talk a bit about the darker side of the show, because that's really Act Two, isn't it? Let's focus on the fun in Act One to begin with. <laughs> and I think, uh, first of all, I mean, Francis, um, you and the rest of the boys and several of the girls seem to spend a lot of your night dressed in uh, some rather interesting uh, PVC material yeah it's um, <laughs> it's not the most comfortable mm -hmm. ever and it's quite sticky okay <laughs> if anybody's got any questions about that or anything else get them on the Facebook page we'll, we will pass them on to the cast so that's that's your you starting point they look quite nice I think they look gorgeous. They look gorgeous. But, um, they, <laughs> they look gorgeous. Uh, everybody looks fantastic PVC don't they? because it's, it's PVC hot pants like so we get quite you know, hot and sweaty for that, so they just get a little... You have a cooling system at the back for... Yeah, look, it's more <laughs> just kind of taking them off and then standing there. So, uh, yeah. But, I mean, this is... Uh, it's, it's a saucy show, it's a sexy show, and that is one of the things that you know you're letting yourself in for when you mm -hmm. sign up for this. And, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, when we were talking uh, pre-arriving in Wolverhampton, uh, it was very much a case of this is out of character for you, isn't it? And I probably, is it? Yeah, Francis looks the type, but you are much more better <laughs> behaved, aren't you? Oh, of course, I'm an angel. Um, no, it, there's, there's elements of Sally that I can definitely connect with. You know, she's quite flighty, she's distracted easily, and things like that. But obviously, there's there's the elements of the drugs mm. and the prostitution, which I'm not generally down for. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm the whole, not, not your thing. But not uh, my thing, no. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, oh. but they're all interesting characters to, to, to yeah, play. So uh, Sally, when you came to Sally, how, how did you just sort of work out where you wanted to be? Well, I mean, it, when you first think of the show, like I, I sang the songs as a child and you think it's quite positive and you hear the song Cabaret and you think it's mm -hmm. this fun-filled showstopper number. But when you actually look at the story and the script and the things that she's gone through to get to that point mm -hmm. it's you know she's gradually having a breakdown basically and um trying to deal with that and that song at the end is her basically going well sod this i you know life is a cabaret this is what this is what i do and she's sort of throwing everything else away and having having a proper meltdown on stage so it's mm -hmm. not this sort of happy-go-lucky story that that some people might think no, it is. And, and the closing moments, if you, if you don't know uh, and you're coming to see it, I, I, we, we don't say too much, but... Yeah, it, spoilers. Yeah, but it really does focus on, on the time that we're looking at. Yeah. And uh, when you are set in, what, 1930, 31 yes. in Berlin, mm. a, a happy, joyous city, certainly the side of things that we've seen in the, uh, the Cabaret Club, uh, it's anything goes, if that's what anybody wants to do, you can relax, be yourself. It's a proper escape, is yeah. it, when you go into those moments and the show numbers in the, ki the Kit Kat Club. Mm -hmm. It's kind of separating yourself from all of the political stuff that's happening in the outside world. Mm -hmm. and, and certainly, there's a lot of people who needed that unfortunately it creeps in it's even to the Kit Kat Club so yeah. uh, and we will we'll talk through through that I'm sure but I mean, Mary uh, you are uh, yeah, another one who does get to wear some outlandish outfits aren't you tell us a bit about your role uh, so I'm playing Rosie and um, she's kind of this stuck up kind of character <laughs> who thinks she's better than everyone um, I think in the ensemble, what's so great about it is that everyone's got their own very specific character, mm -hmm. and we're all very different, which is wonderful to play, like, we're all so different. Um, we do have to get ready 15 minutes prior to the show. I mean, I've done shows before where you can just get ready, like, you know, in the five-minute call. Yep. Um, this is a lot of, yeah, a lot Child of powder. Things. A lot of work. Well, a lot of work, <laughs> yeah. So we all have different hair. Um, I wear a lot of blue eyeshadow. I'm not wearing it at the moment. <laughs> um, but like the costume, there's lots of different bits to put on. Yeah. So yeah, it's quite a preparation to get into that. But I mean, the costumes are amazing. Mm -hmm. right? um, yeah, absolutely. Incredible. And um, we dress, we have different things going on top of the costumes, different headpieces. So yeah, we're really looking in that respect that our costumes are amazing. We're dancing as well. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent. And uh, on to the, the role of, of Rudy then. So uh, we've, we've touched on some of the outfits that you're getting into, but th there's more, a lot more to Rudy than that, isn't there? Uh, yeah, uh, I was given a little a character brief when we started. It basically said that Rudy's angry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but but he, he, he... Mostly about chafing. Mostly consistently, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's got good reason, apparently. But um, it's... He, so my, my behind-the-scenes character thing is, Rudy's angry, but he's never going to do anything with that. Mm -hmm. Kind of like most British people. You know, you get frustrated, <laughs> but you're not actually going to do anything about it. You'll probably just have a complain and, and moan, but you won't really do anything. So it's quite fun. But um, in the same way that Mary said, like, everyone is individual. Mm -hmm. It's nice that we all have different arcs, but um, yeah. Yeah, Rudy gets a little... Like gets we get, you'd get to yeah, dance with me. I get to dance with you. <laughs> Which is more than you could have possibly have hoped well, for like, when you were yeah. taking on the job. I, I didn't ever realise that was going to be part of it, but if I had, I would have taken a pay cut just for it. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, on to Fräulein Schneider. Oh, and poor dear. She has a troubled time, doesn't oh, she? Oh, she does. And ends up going against a lot of things she believes in because of the pressure on, uh, on her and her world. The, the world is changing uh, from obviously the First World War into the beginning of the Second World War and th there's a kind of frisson happening uh, throughout uh, Berlin especially but throughout Germany. So we're landed in this time, uh, time machine if you like of um, uh, imminent things happening in the world. Uh, I'm so proud to be with this company, it's just absolutely wonderful. And they're, uh, a, they're a stunning bunch, aren't they? They're stunning, absolutely, st absolutely amazing. Absolutely stunning. Every single person, every single character, backstage, front of house, but on there, it's there's something wonderful happening. Uh, Fräulein Schneider runs the, uh, I was going to say the guest house. <laughs> Sounds like one in Bournemouth. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the same feel <laughs> to it as that. No. Uh, the boarding house mm -hmm. where eventually beautiful Sally Bowles comes. Mm -hmm. it's wonderful. <laughs> um, and... Uh, um, uh, um, Herr Bradshaw is my first uh, major character that I meet on stage um, and he is the, uh, the writer, the author, the novelist, whatever we get to call him. Yeah. Um, uh, but each storyline is taking you through so much um, of a wealth of uh, spirit that has uh, Fräulein Schneider in her story uh, had a maid, she had a grand style of life when she was young. She's now slightly on harder times. She needs to uh, to rent her rooms. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, it's a very strong strong um, character for me to find every, every show. But what happens with all of us on there um, is that we all want to tell this story mm -hmm. because it is a, a very powerful story. Absolutely. And and the audience reaction just feeds us. We want to just be better and better, don't we? Well, I would say it is it is truly amazing the way in which you portray. And you have some. You have one wonderful duet out there. That, 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 you know, lots oh, of great songs. My, my hair shorts, my James, yes. James oh. Patterson. Mm. Uh, but that uh, is amazing. It, it's just um, delightful the way it just weaves in and out of telling the story. Yeah, oh, absolutely Lovely. brilliant. And we've got the, we've got the poster behind us, and yeah. uh, we uh, have Mr. Partridge up there, and some of his outfits are. Uh, uh, any, uh, they put the ladies to shame, don't they? They are sh <laughs> amazing. So and with the yeah. flag yeah. for John. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny Partridge is, yeah. is just a wonderful <laughs> MC. And yeah, it does a brilliant job of it. He lifts the whole thing from. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, but I think that the whole and uh, musicians everyone, uh, and yeah. we can go on. I mean, yeah. the whole company is just. It, well, it, we're all heading towards the same end, which is. Up there. But yeah, <laughs> telling that story, but singing yeah. some great songs along the way, but leaving everybody with a lot to think about and to reflect on those times. I mean, this started out uh, initially as a book, then became the the, uh, the play uh, and the musical. And uh, and Ed music. Yeah, <laughs> and has been seen as a film as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. obviously, there's been changes to all of these, and the songs have evolved over time. I think what Cara was saying with the Liza Minnelli, uh, Sally Bowles, it was a much lighter. Uh -huh. uh, but this is. We're bringing in yeah. uh, some of the truth of what was really going on. And yeah. Rufus Norris's direction is it's quite dark and quite heavy, which I think it, you know it needs to be. Yeah. And the ending, I won't give anything away, I won't do no, any spoilers, no, but mustn't. it's kind of it, it, the show finishes and the audience don't really know whether they cry. whether they're allowed to applause, whether mm -hmm. or they're you know yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's it really it really gets you the end of the, I mean every time I see it I'm like. 
Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, it's it's be it's beautifully done though. It's yeah, it's mm -hmm. amazing. It is, and uh, so it, it is the poignancy, mm -hmm. yet alongside the exuberance and the magic of the rest of the show. And mm -hmm. as you say, a talented cast, a gorgeous-looking cast as well. I think so uh, that this <laughs> all helps. And Anita, <laughs> obviously, but the, the main one we're thinking of here. Of course, but uh, <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant stuff. It is at Wolverhampton's Grand Theatre right the way through until Saturday, the seventh of September. You've got a few opportunities. We've got a matinee starting almost any moment. Right yeah. The second one of the uh, the week, uh, and then you're in on uh, obviously Thursday night, Friday, and Saturday as well. So make sure you get yourself along. Oh one nine zero two four two nine two one two is a box office number. Grandtheatre.co.uk to get your tickets online. But come along and see the truly awesome cast in a fantastic show that is Cabaret. You will be moved, you will be entertained, and you'll be singing songs about money for the rest of the night, I think. It's oh, pretty, pretty, pretty much the way it goes. But you will absolutely rock. Thank you all, and have Thank a continue you. of a great time. Break a leg on stage. Thank you very Thank much. You very Thank much. you. It's really lovely to see you all.